The governor's proposed budget would eliminate services for over 55,000 treatment clients and almost 230,000 youth involved in prevention services across the state. What that means is over 80% of our clients will not be able to get served under the governor's proposal. It absolutely decimates the system. It leaves clients in a position where they will not be able to get life-saving services, and instead they will turn to hospital emergency rooms and the jails, and that's an unfortunate prospect. People who are sick who don't get health care are going to try and find health care somewhere. And so we don't want to clog up our emergency rooms and our uh, mental health institutions and our uh, other institutions because it, at the end of the day, or our correctional system for that matter, at the end of the day those are the things that end up costing us more than ever. We are asking the General Assembly to maintain the same level of funding from FY11 to FY12. Over the past three years, substance abuse programs have lost over 70 percent of their state funding. Given the current budget crisis, we understand that it is necessary to make cuts. However, these programs have taken more than their fair share, and in order to keep the doors open to these programs and continue to provide life-saving, cost-effective services, we need a maintenance budget this year.